It was nighttime. He went out to walk his dog. His dog was big. The dog's name was Max. Let's go, Max, he said to his dog. He walked past his neighbor's house. He saw there were no lights in the house. His neighbor was not home. He walked past the market. There were people shopping for groceries. He remembered he needed milk. He tied Max to a pole. Wait here, Max, he said. He walked inside the market. It took 15 minutes to buy the milk. He untied Max and continued walking. He walked back to his house. He let Max inside the house. It was time to feed Max. He served Max a bowl of dog food. Max ate it quickly. It was late. He took Max to the backyard. Max slept in a dog house. He said good night to Max. Max barked. It was a beautiful day. Joe went to the park. There were people everywhere. Joe saw many things. He saw a boy riding a bike. He saw a girl swinging on a swing. He saw a family having a picnic. He saw a man playing the guitar. It was a happy sight. Joe took a deep breath. The air was fresh. The smell of flowers was in the air. The trees were swaying in the wind. Joe felt so alive. Joe heard a bell. He looked around and saw the ice cream man. He reached in his pockets. He grabbed three dollars. Hey, ice cream man, Joe yelled. The ice cream man stopped and turned around. He walked towards Joe. One ice cream, please, Joe said. The ice cream man handed Joe an ice cream bar. Thank you, said the ice cream man. Joe paid and went on his way. It was a sunny day. Everything was perfect. Tom was a black cat. He was a house cat. He never went outside. He was kept well fed. Tom always got attention. He was a spoiled cat. Tom was sleeping. He heard a sound. It came from the window. He stood on his four legs. He meowed. He went to the window. He looked outside. There was another cat. The cat was white. Tom jumped out the window. He landed on his feet. Cats always land on their feet. The white cat saw Tom. The white cat was a girl. Tom walked towards the white cat. She ran away. Tom chased her. They ran around the house. Tom was having fun. The white cat ran away. Tom did not catch her. It was getting dark. Tom climbed back inside his window. It was a fun day for Tom. She went to the library. It was close to home. The library was quite small, but it was a nice library. She needed to check out a book. It was a book for her school. She did not want to buy it. It is free to check out books at the library. The library is open to the public. 
Libraries provide access to knowledge. She walked inside the library. It was nice and quiet. The library was also cool. She went to the front desk. She asked for her book. A librarian helped her find it. She was thankful for the help. The librarian was happy to help. She talked to the librarian. They spoke about libraries and librarians. It was an interesting conversation. She learned a lot of things. She left the library and went back home. The librarian had inspired her. She wanted to be a librarian one day. They camped out in the woods last night. They were alone in the woods. When they woke up in the morning, they did not know where they were at. They were lost. There was no one else around. It was just the two of them. They panicked at first. They calmed themselves down. Everything will be okay, they said to each other. They left their cell phones at home. They lit a smoke signal. No one saw it. They decided to walk back. They retraced their footsteps. It took a long time. They had walked a long distance. They got thirsty. They stopped at a stream. They drank from the stream. They continued walking. There were no signs of life. It was getting dark. They had to find people soon. Eventually, they met somebody. He was another camper. He helped them find their way to safety. It was a scary camping trip. Susan had a garden. She planted fruits and vegetables. The garden was in her backyard. Her backyard was wide and long. She had plenty of space. Susan's garden took up most of the space. Her garden grew several kinds of fruits. It grew watermelons, grapes, strawberries, avocados, oranges, and papaya. Some fruits grew from the ground. Others grew on trees. Susan's garden also grew several kinds of vegetables. It grew tomatoes, potatoes, squash, carrots, and eggplants. Susan was proud of her garden. She worked hard to maintain it. Every day, she watered her garden. Her fruits and vegetables tasted great. It was because of her care and love. Everybody in her neighborhood ate from her garden. Susan sold the fruits and vegetables at low prices. She made good profit. Susan did not sell it all. She always kept enough for herself. She knew that fruits and vegetables were good for her health. Thank you.